When a document includes a list, there are a variety of ways that you can format that list. These include bulleted lists and numbered lists primarily. Let's take a look at how we can put these options to use. I'll start off by clicking down below my heading here, and I have a document where I'm intending to create a list of some of my favorite countries, and I plan to list them by continent. I'll go ahead and start off just by typing some of my favorite countries. I'll start off with Austria, for example, and then perhaps Italy, and maybe Spain and France. I'll just type a list of countries in this case. And then I realized that it might be helpful if this list stood out a little bit. So I'll go ahead and select that text, all four lines in this case. And with that text selected, I can then click on the bullet button in order to turn it into a bulleted list. In this case, it's perhaps a list of my favorite countries, but not necessarily in order from most favorite to least favorite. If the list is in order by preference, then I might want to use a numbered list. And for that, I'll simply click the Numbered List button, and now you can see that the list is indicated with numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, rather than a simple bullet symbol. But we also have some options for how this list is formatted. I can change the symbol that's used. So here I have a numbered list, for example. If I click the pop-up associated with the Numbered List button, then I can choose a formatting for that list. So, for example, I can use Roman numerals or I can use letters to represent those items on my list. I'll go ahead and change it to numbers with parentheses, for example, and you can see that the update affects the list immediately. And I have a similar option for a bulleted list. I'll go ahead and click the pop-up associated with the bulleted list button, and then you can see that I have a variety of options available, including circles or a little arrow symbol, and I can also define a new bullet, essentially choosing any letter of the alphabet or any symbol with any of my fonts as a bullet that I can use for my list. We can also take things a step further, though. You may have noticed that I've indicated in my title here that this should be a list by continent. Now, all of the items on my list are countries in Europe, and so I could specify Europe at the start of the list here. I'll go ahead and type Europe, and then press Enter, and now Europe is a heading, as it were. It's at the top of the list, except it doesn't exactly stand out from the other items, and that's because they're all at the same level. But I can promote or demote items on that list so that they're at a different level. I'll go ahead and select the countries, for example, and then I'll click the indent button, and you'll see that those items, those countries in this case, are indented, and they also get a different symbol so that it stands out as not being part of the same list. In other words, I have a heading here, and then I have some countries listed under the name of the continent in this case. I'll go to the end of the list, and then I'll press Enter, and you'll see that I have a new bullet item, so I can add an item to my list, but in this case I'm ready to switch to a different continent, and so I want to shift to the left. I can click a button to decrease the indent, but I can also use keyboard shortcuts for this purpose. When I'm working in a bulleted or numbered list, I can press Tab to indent and Shift Tab to decrease the indent level. So for example, at this point I could type South America, and then press Enter on the keyboard, and then press Tab to indent, and I can start typing some of my favorite countries from South America. If I press Enter again, you'll see that I have another bullet item, so I could add additional countries to the list, but with that empty bullet or that empty number. But if I press Enter one more time, then I go back, in this case, to the top-level bullet item. But if I go one more time again with the Enter key, then I get to a new line, and I'm no longer in that bulleted list. I'll go ahead and move my insertion point down a little bit, and we can take a look at how we can work from the start with a bulleted list when I have not yet typed anything. So I started off in this case by typing some names of countries, and then I converted that list to a bulleted list. Let's go ahead and start with the bullet from the very beginning. I'll go ahead and click that bullet button. You can see that I have a bulleted list started, and now I can simply start typing. So whether I type the text first and then turn it into a bulleted list or a numbered list, or I indicate right from the start that I want to create a bulleted or numbered list, either option works perfectly fine, and the result is an organized list with very clear formatting.